Hello everyone. Hope you're all doing great. Um, welcome to my channel and welcome to Book Review Monday. So I'm back with a new review. Uh, this one is called Reckless Player by R.C. Stevens. I guess if you haven't noticed, I have loved R.C. Stevens books for quite a while now. So um, let's, uh, before I get into that, I just wanted to do a quick update. Um, we might not actually see a lot of videos happening uh, during the next following weeks that, uh, uh, and everything because um, it's just, uh, well, some stuff is going on these days that uh, it's going to be a little quite difficult to actually uh, find the time to film and, ev and everything so I just wanted to give a quick heads up about that. One week it will be uh, a, fa a favorites video, the next week it'll be a uh, book review, um, so it might not, uh, so it might just be once a week that we see, uh, that you'll see uh, videos from me, so I just wanted to give a heads up about that. Anyways, so let's go ahead and read the blurb and then I will recap, review, and then read this book overall. So let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? Paris. I've had a crush on my best friend for as long as I can remember but he's a hockey winger who has quite a reputation with the puck bunnies, and I'm a nerdy girl trying to survive my biochemistry degree as a single mom. If science has taught me anything, it's that facts don't lie. The truth is, Reese and I are from two completely different worlds. He's headed for the pros, and I hypothesize uh, <laughs> I'll be left behind again. <clears throat> Hypothesize, sorry. <laughs> Reese might not be boyfriend material, but he makes a great fake fiance but, uh, because he's fooling even me. After months of subtle touches and staged kisses, our experiment finally combusts. He may be a reckless player, but his pretend love is the realest thing I've ever felt. Reese. After my gorgeous best friend moves in next door, things go from friend zone to off the chart Earth's chemistry. Now I'm seeing the sexy single mom in a whole new light. It's my year to go pro, and before I can draft, I need to clean up my playboy reputation and graduate. I can't risk a, a relationship or my friendship with Paris. When she needs a fake fiance to get her son into a, a private school, I do what any good friend would do. I volunteer. But the closer we get, the more blurred the lines become. Falling for her is a complication I didn't calculate but pretending to love her is the easiest game I've ever played. I just hope when the game is over, I don't lose her for good. So this book begins with a prologue from Reese's point of view when he was less than 10 years old, probably about seven or so. He wakes up to hear his dad um, kind of like shuffling around and packing up his stuff and um, and you know he asks his dad what's going on, and his dad tells him that he's leaving, and he didn't want. And his dad also says that he didn't want to be tied down to Reese and Poppy's mother. He told he did tell Reese to take care of his uh, sister and his mom, and um, his parting words were to never let a woman trap him, and to go for his dream. I. Bad move there on that dad's part. That's just such a wrong thing to say to your young son. So, uh, so present day, uh, Reese's friends with Paris. Paris has a son named Max uh, with an ex-boyfriend named uh, Tobias, but we never see Tobias in this whole book. He's mentioned a lot, but he's never like in any moments. He left them a year prior. Um, Reese also tutors uh, Paris in school. They are also fighting their feelings for each other. 
you know, when the author speaks from their point of view of the uh, in each chapter, you know, you can we can hear and see like that uh, they are attracted to one another. We learn that Paris is trying to get Max into a private school because the public school, uh, the public school isn't great. Uh, the private school is snooty and rude, nosy. <laughs> Max won't be able to attend the school unless Paris is married or in a relationship, in a committed relationship, which is a ridiculous expectation, but still, anyway. We also learn Reese um, is in trouble thanks to a girl he had hooked up with a long time ago. Um, this girl uh, tries to get her claws into his reputation somehow, and she gives like an exclusive in, in a uh, in a in a school newspaper, and it makes it a big mess. Basically, she wants the recognition, the the, the recognition. So to retract and uh, claim her proofs, uh, her uh, sorry, to retract and um, prove her claim is false. Uh, Reese comes up with the idea of being in a relationship with Reese. I mean, it's a win-win for both, right? So they end up uh, going to a meeting and tour of uh, Max's new school, um, or the new private school that Max would be attending. Uh, Reese played the part beautifully. Beautifully. Um, plus Reese and Paris shared a kiss um, after uh, one of uh, Reese's games, hockey games. Um, the kiss was in front of everyone, so then it would like spread like like wildfire um, that Reese has taken. But at first, no one really believes it, so it happens again. And Reese does feel something for Paris when they are together, and she does feel something too. They just don't want to admit it, admit it to each other yet, um, but they'll tell their friends that their relationship is fake and yet they wish it was real. Even their friends wish that it was real. So going back to Reese's father real fast. Um, Reese has not heard or seen his father since his father had left. Um, you know, Reese learned out of curiosity um, and, you know, stalking through social media that his father has two other kids and is married. Reese and Poppy talked to their mom about this information and their mom has admitted that she has um, cyber-stalked um, her ex because she was curious too. As it turns out, the father was in a relationship with a different woman who had his baby then he met Reese and Poppy's mom, and then she got pregnant. Then he was back and forth between both women. So in my opinion, the guy couldn't keep it in his pants and uh, chose between these two ladies. Dirtbag. As the weeks go on uh, between uh, Paris and Reese, they realize their physical attraction is fire and they begin sleeping together. All their friends are rooting for them to just stop with the fake parts or fake aspects of everything and just become real. Paris is hesitant for this and understandably so because of um, her past relationship with uh, her ex-boyfriend who is Max's father and even with her own father. Um, because her own father had uh, banned her from living with them. Living with her and her sister Holland. So of course trust issues are, have come up. Paris' son Max does adore uh, Reese. Uh, their own growing friendship does thrill Paris, but scares her at the same time because she thinks in the what-if scenario. Again, it's understandable, she feels like that. I mean, this is her son, she wants to protect him and, and his feelings like any parent would. During Wolf's party, Wolf it, uh, was uh, mentioned in the 
first uh, Westfall U uh, series. So during his bachelor party, a lot of the guys from the hockey team are invited and they go to a club. Reese remembers seeing the girl who claimed to be his girlfriend in the article in the beginning of the book and was the girl that I had mentioned in the beginning of this review. She took a snapshot at, uh, of him and her and then posted it on social media and then after that Reese just does not remember anything. Like he does not remember anything. Um, there's because him and the rest of the team are so hungover and tired especially during the wedding. Um, so it's kind of thought it's implied that Reese might have gotten like alcohol poisoning or was about to. So but anyways Paris does see the picture of Reese with this girl on social media and and decides to confront him about it later. Now this is the part that aggravated me a little bit. So for the um for the wedding they had they carpooled. Reese and Paris had carpooled um to the location that the wedding was at. And she checks out of the hotel early and drives back home and she ignores all calls and texts from Reese. So her version of later is never basically she's just kind of ghosting him at this point. I mean I get that she's mad but at the same time it's like really Paris learns her father is in critical condition and won't get better, therefore he won't make it. Reese decides to be there for uh, uh, for her and she is appreciative of that. Holland comes to her uh, dad's bedside as well and their father explains about his rough upbringing and how he treated the girls is on him and it wasn't anything they did wrong. And you know, from reading Holland's story and reading Paris's story, which is this one, um, it was nice to see that uh, their dad has finally owned up to his mistakes and his actions, and he does finally apologize to his daughters. And then he eventually does pass away. Reese and Paris finally talk about the social media post and their feelings for each other. And Paris forgives him for what had happened and she realizes uh, Reese's love for her uh, and even uh, uh, his love for Max is real and always has been real. You know, I don't know whose story is coming up next in this Westfall U uh, series by R.C. Stevens, but I mean it could be Blossom's story, it could be Kate's story, who's uh, who's Wolf's sister, could be Logan's story. It, I mean, not sure, but I'll still read it. Like, I'm, <laughs> I, I don't care whose story it is, I'll still read it, because I love this series. Um, you know, the story did show how hard it is for single parents to do what's best for their children, um, make those hard decisions, and trust in the person and, and that they love, and try to achieve their own goals. Um, you know, it, it's, it's no joke, and you'll have moments but you keep marching on. So, well, that being said, I did rate this five stars. It, it, uh, it has, uh, earned that. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. I'm currently working on other reviews. You might actually see uh, uh, me in the same outfit because I have multiple reviews to film back to back. So just giving that, that a heads up. Um, so thank you to Grace Promotions and R.C. Stevens for providing an ARC of Reckless Player. I really do appreciate it, as I appreciate all of you for watching. I hope you have a great week, and I will see you in the next video.